Hello everybody, and today I want to talk to you about a new technology from NVIDIA, DLSS. Keep in mind these letters because these will improve the quality and also the workflow, in this case in Unreal Engine. I like that DLSS is deep learning super sampling. This is a new and powerful technology from NVIDIA, and now it's fully supported in Unreal Engine version 4.26 and higher. Right now you need to do a manual installation, and it's available in the Epic Game Marketplace. You have to be registered on the NVIDIA website and also it's important that you have to have your graphic cards and your window drivers updated. And now how can this technology help us? Well, basically the main points are two. The first point is that it improves the quality of the representation in our screen. For example, in those blurred areas that we see in our screen, now with this technology make it sharper. And this is thanks to super sampling technology. And the other point that is really important, since science is always looking for how to get the best performance, it is mainly that with this technology the performance is multiplied dramatically. Now here in Unreal Engine in this project, I'm using full ray tracing. Let me show you here in the post process volume. I want to teach you here and using ray tracing global illumination. Right now it's using Final Gather, but for the final render I used to use uh, Brute Force. Also I'm using the ray tracing reflections. And also look at this because I have unchecked the samples per pixels in ray tracing reflections. This depending if I'm working on the scene or if I want to render. Well, like that, to set up the DLSS, this is really easy, you need to have everything updated, as I told you. And you need to go here in Unreal Engine 2 plugins. Look at this here, we are using the NVIDIA DLSS and we have a check it. You need to restart and if everything is updated, everything should work. In this checkbox, you have the DLSS settings. Let me show you here, we are not using the DLSS. Um, I have here in Final Gather and also use the ray tracing reflections and everything and I can move it well but look at this because maybe we are using here a lower frame per second it could be better also doing the screen recording maybe still some performance but as you can see we are working more or less at 10 frames per second and now let me show you using the ultra performance with the DLSS okay now look at the quality uh, change a bit, okay? But as you can see right now, we are working at 40 or more frames per second. Also, look at these areas. We can see some light leggings. But something is really great. It's that right now we can work in this thing with a really great performance and really fast. And also something that's really great is that we can work with the ray tracing activated and working with a nice global illumination. And now here we try using performance mode and we have more or less like 29 or maybe 30, okay? And for example here using the balanced mode, we have more or less like 20, 25 frames per second. I can still working well using this mode and this quality. And as you know using ray tracing, if you stop your camera for a couple of seconds everything is going better. And now we check it with the quality, this is the highest quality mode. I look at this because we are using the most quality mode and we are working at uh, 15 frames per second or more. It's really nice. And now let me show you again, we disabled the DLSS. I look at this because maybe we get a little bit more quality, but we are getting here a lower performance. Of course, this is depending on the settings we are using for ray tracing. And let me show you again using the quality mode. Okay, everything is going better. This is something really nice because we can get here in this sample like a 20 or 25 frames per second. Let me show you also how I work this thing using the wireframe mode. Look at this, this is not well optimized, I'm using really high quality models. It's fully plenty of polygons. And this is the main idea working with this thing using the DLSS. And now I want to show you also this cinematic sequence. Okay. And the first thing I want to show you is using the DLSS we disable, okay? And look at the frame rate. Maybe we are at um, 10 frames per second. Maybe we have some values like 15 frames per second. But as you see it, we are losing some frames also. 
and this because we are using a full ray tracing and also a complex thing. So as you can see we have it disabled and we are working at 10 frames per second. So let me try now working using the ultra performance mode. Okay. And now look at this here because uh, we have a great performance now. We have it now 60, 70 frames per second. This is really nice. And this is really powerful also because you can edit and you can work with the materials, lighting and everything in your thing with a great performance. I need to tell you also that I'm using here an RTX 28Ti GPU and it's a really nice graphic card. As you can see in this mode we are working really well, maybe we get some noise in some parts, but I don't care about it because when I work in my steam I don't care about it. And now here again using the performance mode, we get a bit lower frame rate than before. We are getting like a 25 or 40 frames per second. Maybe again we are losing some frames while we are playing. Of course, look at this in this hard movement in our camera. And now again with this sequence we try with the balanced mode. Again we are getting like a 25 frames per second, so it's really nice. The main thing in this case, uh, you can use uh, ultra performance when you are working in your thing and you can change to quality mode when you need to build the things better. So I think you have understood well, and now you know you can get a really great performance working with this technique. So like that, as you can see, using the ultra performance, you can duplicate your frame rate. And this is really important when you are working in your thing, like changing your materials, your animations and everything. And now I want to show you working with the high quality, this one. And also, we go to the post-process volume. And I want to check here in ray tracing global illumination using brute force. Let me look here because we are working with the samples per pixel to 64, so I change it to the 32 because right now I'm getting a lower frame rate. I hit play and look at this again, we are getting a lower frame rate, but this is because we are using brute force. So this is the most high quality mode for ray tracing global illumination. And this is something I have explained in Ray Tracing video tutorial. I used to work with uh, Final Gather. When I work in my thing, when I change the materials, uh, working with the lighting, animation and everything. And when I want to do my final render, I go to Brute Force. And again, we have here the same, working with the sample per pixels in Ray Tracing Reflections. If we check it, you lose some performance, okay? But in this case, I used to do it the same way. So I work in my thing, not using sample per pixels. And when I want to do the final render, I check it. And now with this technique, we have another great parameter. Like that we can work with the ultra performance working in our thing and use the quality mode for the final render. But also I would recommend to disable if you are working in an architectural visualization project and you want to do your final render. And the last thing you have here in your command prompt, you can write, for example, DLSS you have all the parameters and all the variables you can set. And finally, I encourage everyone who is working with the latest version of Unreal to give a try. Okay, try this technique because, as you have seen, it's a very important advance that will help you to improve the workflow in your projects. And the most important thing, you get a great performance. But also need to tell you that you need a graphic card that's fully supports ray tracing.